My next guest is the president of Accuracy in Media. Welcome back, Adam Gillette. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you always for having me. Uh, since we last spoke, you have been swatted. Am I correct? Three times, most recently, uh, a little bit before 5 o'clock this morning. The first time was last Friday at about 2.30 a.m. They called law enforcement and said that I had a gun to my wife's head. A half dozen deputies arrived with rifles. And if I was home, thankfully I wasn't. And if I had moved the wrong way, I might have been killed. Do we have any indication? I mean, do we, do we I'm know? I'm gathering it might be one of the people that I've been annoying with our anti-Semitism accountability project at Harvard and Columbia and Penn. We've been getting threats and emails and phone calls for two weeks now. It's myself, my wife, our family, one of our employees. These are horrible, violent, wretched, racist people. Okay, when you call on a pizza, they have caller ID. They, you know, if I called them, hello, Mr. Wilkow, what can I get you? They don't, they don't know where these calls are coming from? And, you know, evidently they don't, and I don't think law enforcement is generally set up to research it. Thankfully, I have some allies that are, and I also have some fantastic attorneys that are going in, uh, that are researching it as we speak. No guarantees we'll find the person. No guarantees they can be prosecuted because we don't even know if they're from this country. But what I do know is we're going to be doubling down on all of our efforts. Anything else would be an affirmation to them that this kind of tactic is effective. Instead, I want them to get the opposite lesson. All right. Uh, so you've been you've been running an investigation of the Corpus Christi area schools, and they're basically teaching Project 1619 under another name. Greg Abbott signed House Bill 3979 uh, that, to its best ability, uh, prohibits the teaching that some individuals are inherently racist, sexist, or oppressive, whether consciously or unconsciously. Now, look, no one is saying don't teach the history of slavery. Just don't lie to the kids and say the country's founded on it. And if you're going to say, look, if you want to say, are there racists in America? You can teach that. Can you say that slavery was a global institution predating the United States? You could, because it's true. But teaching that some people, no matter who they are, they're born racist, in, they're inherently racist people, that's not, that's not true, but it's, it's, just, a, it's, 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 it's a terrible thing to say to children. It, it is absolutely horrendous. And that's one of the reasons why they banned it in Texas and in many other states. But the law means nothing to these radicals. They use a classroom curriculum service called Newzella to teach the exact same content, but under the banner of Newzella instead of New York Times. And then one of my investigators captured at a Texas Association of School Boards conference, they use your tax dollars to go to a school board conference to have a breakout session with attorneys who teach them how to get around the law and push the 1619 project anyway. That's where your tax dollars are going, Texas. Can I walk into one of these classrooms and tell the kids that uh, people in Gaza inherently hate Jews? <laughs> I imagine you can't because Gaza and the Palestinian cause, it's part of intersectionality. That's why you see protesters in New York holding signs ridiculously that say abortion rights equals free Palestine. That's why you see LGBTQ groups supporting Palestine, where if they tried to hold a Pride Month, they'd be thrown off of a roof. It's radical progressivism that pushes this nonsense. It's anti-capitalist Marxist. It's insane. Again, so back to this. So even black historians have challenged the basis of 1619, that the United States, the colonies were founded, the nation was founded to, to maintain the institution of slavery which again predated, there's nothing in the actual history of this country to support it, whether you're a black historian, white historian, Hispanic historian, whether you're born here, you immigrated here and studied our history. This is something that's been challenged on multiple fronts, and yet the defenders of 1619 say, we want to teach it anyway. So you want to lie to the kids. Again, I'm not, I am not someone that's going to sit here and whitewash the history of this country. We do have pretty terrible chapters, and they should be taught, but they should be taught correctly and accurately. I'm in a position in which I'm saying, hey, man, you guys can have history. Tell you what, let's compromise. Do whatever you want with the history class. Teach all your crazy nonsense. Can we keep it out of math class? Can we keep it out of science class? 
Can we maybe pay teachers better instead of having these highly paid equity officers, some of them compensated nearly a quarter million dollars annually for non-classroom positions focused exclusively on getting the principles of critical race theory into every facet of public education? Or here's a crazy idea, Texas. Why don't we just get universal school choice? And then if you want to send your kid to a school where they're taught that they're an evil oppressor, you can. But if we don't want our children to hear that gobbledygook, we don't have to. I, I, I just... I don't get it. I live in New Jersey, and I'm pretty up on things, and I run in a circle of parents who are the kind of people that put Trump flags in front of their house, and they seem genuinely happy with the schools where we are. I'm in a reddish, purplish part of the state in Morris County. I, if you told people, then this is, this is Texas. Like, you know, this bat, you know what crazy stuff is supposed to be happening in our school. I mean, the governor just signed an executive order. They're going to have to infuse climate change into the curriculum, including gym class. Still haven't seen it yet. I don't know when it starts. But if you live in a place like New Jersey, you think this is the kind of stuff that happens in your backyard, not in Texas. Well, don't worry. I'm sure it's far worse in New Jersey. But Texas, you wouldn't expect this. I'll tell you, Fort Worth ISD, one of 22 school districts in the Fort Worth metropolitan area, they got about a dozen full-time staffers, non-classroom positions on their equity team. That's where they're spending their tax dollars. Next time they tell you, we got to raise taxes to focus on help and education, tell them, why don't we uh, redistribute from amongst those equity officers and give it some of the best performing teachers? Texas has less school choice than California. And the problem is these rural Republicans who consistently vote against it because they don't currently have many uh, uh, charter schools or private schools in their district and because the biggest employer in their district is public education, as if these schools exist as a job creation service. But I, under the 10th Amendment, the states run at things, services like education. Why wouldn't the state just review these materials and say no? You know what? It doesn't matter even if they do, because these administrators tell us again and again that teachers can, quote, close the door and do what they want or close the door and do what's right. They tell us that you could fight all you want in the curriculum as long as the teachers can tangentially point to what they want to teach being kind of related to the curriculum. They can go ahead and do it anyway. They don't have to share all the resources that they're using. They use, the, um, they use uh, you know, these deceptive tactics like Newzella, the classroom curriculum service, to teach illegal content. Pass all the laws you want. They're not going to listen to them. That's why the only solution is universal school choice. Oh, um. You know, do we need cameras in the classroom? I mean, if cops got to wear body cameras, do, do we want cameras in the classroom? And even then, I mean, who's got the time to watch every minute of every class? I mean, parents got a wake up call during during the pandemic. But it just you're right. You got to have school choice. I you got to have school choice because you you can't keep up with this stuff. Right. I mean, if you work for a living as much as you want to be as a part of your child's education and to guide it to the best of your ability, you can't mother hen these teachers. All right. That's uh, have a happy Halloween. I got to leave it there. Thank you for having me. All right.